Hey guys, Andy Elliott. Welcome to the One Percenter Podcast. Today may be the best podcast I've ever dropped in my life. Number one, because these guys are killers and they're freaking awesome, and I love their story. When you guys hear their story, and they're gonna t- they're gonna teach you how to be really successful. We got 27 years old. We got 31 years old. Most of the guys in their companies earning seven figures a year. Plus, they're growing it. They're, they're the real deal. These guys are verified. They're killing it. You may say, well, what do they do? What do they do? They have a company called Novak Equities. You may say, what is that? We're going to tell you. But the, the stories, the lessons, the things that we're going to teach, the, over, the adversity you have to overcome to, be great, to become great. This video it may be the greatest video. You may watch this video 100 times to get this out of this. When I introduce you to my friends right now, you're going to see, I always say the eyes are the window to the soul. You're going to see that they take life serious. And we were just talking about how even six months or 100 days of taking your life serious could totally change your entire bloodline. Two or three good years is all you need, guys. So this podcast will be, in my opinion, the video that you guys watch that's your favorite with me that will change your life the best. So I appreciate you guys. I'm yeah, so yeah, yeah. Thanks for having us, brother. Yeah, yeah. I love you guys. I'm number one, I'm going to hand it over to you guys. I'm going to ask some questions as we go. But number one, tell them a little bit about who you guys are and what you're doing now, today. And then let's back in a little bit and let's start giving some lessons and stories and things that the people that are watching sure. us can use to level up. Is that cool? Yeah, yeah 100%. Right. Right, okay. guys. You want to start with what we're doing today? So, let's go. All right. So uh, just to elaborate a little bit on what Andy said and what we like, do. What is Novak Equity? Novak Equity. So what we do, we're an alternative financing space, right? So there's business owners out there that um, are unable to go to a bank to get financing for their business. You run a pretty big company. Mm-hmm. You understand the cash flow needs that that business has. Yeah. Right. Um, so if somebody's watching this right now and they have yeah. a business and they need to borrow money, yes, they can reach out to your company. Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. Let's stop right there real quick. How does someone reach out to you? Just in case as we go, somebody's like, I want to reach out to you guys. We'll give them a phone number to reach out. Yeah, we'll give them a phone okay, number to cool. reach so out guys, to. guys, that number, they're going to give it to me. I'm going to drop it on the screen right now. If you guys decide you want to reach out, call or text, that'll be the number we use. Is that yep. cool? Yeah. Correct. By the way, how can they follow you on social media? Uh, social media, it's going to be Jake D'Amelio, D-A-M-E-L-I-O with two O's. Follow me, DM me. I'll get right back to you. Okay, my man. Ken. K-E-N, just like it's spelled, underscore D-O-E 23. You can go give me a follow there. Okay, whoever you like the, the most, make sure you follow them. Say, I, like <laughs> I got okay. more followers. You'll right. see either one of us on hey. either page. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. Anyways, I'm just teasing. All right, so let's roll. So Novak Equities. Novak Equities, correct. For businesses. Correct. Um, it's right. it's business lending. It's not personal lending, right? Business lending. Business uh-huh. lending only. So it, the alternative finance space, all that means is the business owner cannot go to the, ga- the bank for a few different reasons. Poor credit history, right? Not, um, they don't own a bunch of assets, right? Because banks like to lend against hard assets, right? Mm-hmm. A building, this, that, yeah. what, what have you. Liquidity. But correct. If you're a business owner and you have payroll due Friday or you run a construction company, you have to go get materials mm-hmm. for the project that's closed. That's why people would which use us, which happens business. all the time Always in business. Okay, so if somebody gets in a bind and they need to borrow some money, do you guys do consolidations or just loans? So we can get you a consolidation. Us, ourselves, we like to lend out anywhere between $10,000 to $5 million in a straight shot, Got right? It. So it just depends on the, the size of the business. The way we underwrite it and what we base that off of uh, is cash flow, right? So right. we take the last four months, we take an aggregate of that number of what the business has made, mm-hmm. we base it off that, we send them the capital, we purchase their future receipts, and then we take that money back over time, right? Over a defined term. It's a very simple financial yeah. product. It's not for everybody, right? However, we are the only people, well, not us, the space is the only people where if you're in a cash crunch, you can get funding same day. Yeah, which is super important because people work years to build their businesses and sometimes they can disappear in a couple months. 100%. Correct. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So having something like this is a, is a huge deal, especially when people get in binds. Yeah. Okay, so that's what Novak Equities is. Let's talk about you guys, how you came together, what you guys do. Yeah. By the way, you both have very unique stories. They're both very successful. Um, let's talk about some, some, some things, some challenges, some things that you've broke through in life, things like that. Jake, you want to start? Or you want yeah, me to yeah. go? Um, so I grew up in a small town, uh, Rumson, New Jersey. Grew up in a very wealthy town. Uh, I was pretty much the only one out of my friend group that didn't grow up with any money. Um, I was always having that race that I needed to keep up with everyone. That was, that's what made me a hustler. You know what I mean? So I had to figure my ways out. Both my uh, you know parents making 60, 70K a year. Um, 
I always wanted to be successful. I just needed to figure a way out. Hey guys, I would love to personally invite you to come train out with me. I'm going to be coached by my coach, Tony Robbins and Dean Graciosi, June 13th, 14th, and 15th, right here in Scottsdale, Arizona. All you have to do is have trained with me at least on a training course before. So if you're watching this, if you've purchased one of my training courses before, you qualify for this. By the way, it's free. It doesn't cost you any money. It's absolutely free. So what does that mean? That means if you're watching this and you've trained with me, I'm not going to charge you anything. I want you to come train with me. I want you to come out to Scottsdale, Arizona. You're going to train with me while I get coached from my coach, Tony Robbins and Dean Graciosi. It's going to be three days straight. This room is going to be filled with about 500 people that are raging fans of what the LA group stands for is the core values of standards and winning and kicking ass. And if that's you, you're going to be with these like-minded people and you're going to be with me while I coach. I love you guys. It's something that I've never done before, but it's a private invite for those who have trained with me. So if you want to come to this, just text the number 918-210-0254. Write it down. It's very simple. 918 210 0254. Shoot me a text. Say, hey, Andy, my name's John Watson. I did buy your training course, you know, a year ago. I would love to come train with you on these three days with you and your company while you're getting coached. I'd love to spend that time with you. If that's you, boom, we'll send you over an invitation. It's limited seating, only 450 to 500 people, and then we're cutting it off. Let's get back to the video. Um, ended up going to college. I played football for two years at Nassau Community College. End up dropping out of school. Uh, end up kind of start to travel a little bit because I just kind of you know had to figure myself out. One of my boys hits me up and he's like, "Hey, come to the city and sell money on Wall Street." I'm like, "Dude, I don't have a fucking degree. There's there's no possible way I'm gonna be able to do that." I go in. I immediately start hitting the phones. I knew how to sell. Like I could sell anything to anyone. Yeah. But I just had to figure out the lingo. So I ended up figuring that stuff out. Um, COVID ends up hitting. This all happened. You know, kind of 20, 2021. 20, um, and I said, what am I going to do now? I made, you know, 10, 15 grand there last $10,000 to my name. I just started lending out the money. I started just, you know, saying, fuck it. I'm going to get my own system. I'm going to get everything I need to do. And I'm going to start lending it out. Ended up opening my own company. Uh, me and my wife ended up moving down to Miami. I brought all my boys with me and it was history ever since. And I just and built it up from the ground. up. There. We built the whole business, everything, me, my boys, my boy, Jack, um, real quick, I want to give a shout out to my team just before that. My my guys are my everything. Uh, shout out to Jack, Kareem, uh, Ken, EJ, uh, Weber, Ty, Chris. Chris. Am I missing anyone else? Clemser. Clemser. Clemser's in the back there. Uh, that's my family. That, that's my army. Without them, Frank too. Frank, Frank Clemser. Too. I wouldn't be where I am without him. So I want to give a shout out there. Um, that's super cool, guys. That's how you know he's a good leader. Yeah, yeah. The, the, those are my people. Individual can be beat, but a yeah. team can't be. Beat. I had to give them a shout out before anything happened. You know. My story is me just wanting to, I grew up in that town. I did some bad things in high school, ended up getting me in trouble mm -hmm. and I needed to make a name for myself and I had to figure out how I could bring that back. And the biggest thing for me was being that bloodline breaker. No one in my family was ever wealthy, did anything. And when you gave me that term, I was like, all right, that's going to be me. Yeah. Obviously, you know, I broke my bloodline before I met it, you. It made sense. It this made sense. Clicked. You know, and yeah. after meeting you, and kind of figuring everything out, I was like, all right, I do want this. This is what I truly want. I want that family vibe. I want that army vibe. Yeah. I want everyone to be on the same schedule. There's not one person that, you know, that fucks around. Like, we're all doing the same thing day in and day out. And if someone fucks up, they get it. You know what I mean? They're, they're going to get it. Why? Because I love them and I care about them. Yeah, um, yeah you, you guys run a tight ship because you have yeah. high standards. Yeah. yeah. I have high standards. The yeah, expectation yeah, well, is yeah, high. Because some people are going to say, oh, they get it. Oh, he's a dick. No, no, no. You're actually a mentor. You're actually a good leader. I'm here to motivate. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, dude, like, people let themselves slide every day. They let their team slide. And that's the reason why things are complacent, and that's the reason why companies don't grow. And yeah. so, anyways, I love that. When well, you well that. even today, you know, and I'll say this on live, my boy Jack, who's, who's my CFO, he slept in today, whatever. I, I guess he didn't want to work out. And, you know, I texted him, and you said, well, if there's a problem with someone, you got to go up to them because they're correct. family, and you got to be, you know, got to be correct and, and come at them. So I did so. We ended up, you know, we beefed a little bit, but we worked it out, and it's all love. But those are the things that I, I take, you know what I mean? And I. But you know what, Jack, you see more in Jack sometimes than he sees in himself. Yeah. And so what happens is when you see that, when I when I see people, listen, and this is a good deal, and I, and I, I, I won't cut you guys off, but this is what I want to say. If you tell me that you want something, I'm going to fucking hold you to it. Yeah. Yeah, bingo. So, so let's just get that out of the way. Don't fucking tell me. You're better off. Look, just tell me you don't want to get in shape. And I'm cool with that. That's it. But if you tell me. That you're down. And then you don't. Yeah. Yeah. That's a problem. You just fucked up. 
hundred percent. Don't tell me. We came out here for business. Yeah. So I just want to say, like, I get that because yeah. if he told you that he wanted something and he didn't do it, and if y'all made an agreement and a standard and a commitment, you don't break those things. Yeah. I yeah. take it very, I take it very heavy, and that's the reason why your yeah. company will keep growing. And by the way, that's why he'll respect you is because you have the courage to go and tell him yeah. this is not who you are. This is not. This is not what we talk yeah. about. And to finish off before you get on. My biggest thing since building this company was the struggles of becoming a CEO, the struggles of, wow, I am this boss figure. I am this person who everyone relies on. And, you know, being a boss, I mean, you're a CEO. We make mistakes. It happens all the time. All the time. And people aren't happy with them. People look up to you. And, you know, when you fuck up bad, you know, it's, it, it sucks because there's no one else to lean on. I can't, you know, go and talk to someone. If Ken fucks up, he comes and talks to me and says, hey, Jake, how can I fix this? So that's been some of my biggest struggles, but I've been really working on it. Um, and just trying to talk to all our guys together as a whole, mm -hmm. even if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation, we figure a way to make it yeah, work and, and we all come together. Honestly, we've gotten like so much more constructive, which I think people see, they can feel it's like the team thing you're talking about. We become so much more constructive in our approach to like what we're missing or where we're making mistakes. Yeah. We're constantly we're, having meetings. Yeah. Constantly. We're constantly, constantly. Every single morning we're having a meeting. 8 a.m. We talk about what needs to happen today. Even if it's the dumbest fucking thing, it's getting magic. corrected. Yeah. That's, that's the, where the juice is. Yeah. That's the magic. That's the invisible in companies. And what it is, it's, it's an environment. It's an environment that actually people can grow in and they can be direct and they can trust each other. But make, make no mistake about it. That environment is constructive, but, uh, dude, me and Jake are at each other's throats too. Yeah. That's, that's the behind the scenes that people don't see when everyone's really dialed in and everybody really cares. And we have a common goal to be the best we can be. The behind the scenes is nutty. Dude, there's serious shit going on. Yeah, like, the behind the scenes is nutty. We're, we're guys that are so young. Like, dude, I'm earning over seven figures a month at 27 years old. Like, yeah. that's a lot of fucking money. And I ain't doing that if I'm not taking risks. And I ain't doing that if my friends are not following my lead. You know what I mean? Someone like him making two, three hundred grand a month, that's a lot of fucking money. There's a lot of responsibilities that come with that shit. It's not all fun and games. Like, I say that proudly. No, it's a sport. It, it's, a, it, it's, it's a sport. It, it's a different but level of sport. I constantly have to practice yeah. you, you every fucking day. Athletes. Yeah. Correct. And everything we do, like, even if we make a mistake, that shit fucking gets corrected, like, ASAP. There is no, like, hey, let me leave that we shit don't for have later. Time. We there, have no time. There's no time. Because if someone fucks up and my money's in a deal or something happens, dude, show's over. I lost that money. Just the other day, I lost two, three hundred grand in a fucking deal. I fucking blew my gasket. But you know what? I made a mistake. And I fucking... Who's that I want to ride with, right? I lived in... I've been selling things... So since I got sober, I've had 25 different sales jobs. Mm -hmm. Because I was always selling. I worked with some very talented sales guys. I worked in some good organizations. Mm -hmm. I never found my guys that wanted it as bad as I did until I walked up to Jake and said, nice veneers, brother. <laughs> Before that, too, my girlfriend works at the gym, right? Shout out my, my beautiful girlfriend, Daniela. But uh, she worked at the gym. She, she told me, she said, yo, I met this guy at the gym I think you'll be friends with. This is right when we moved to Miami. We used to live in Cali. She said, yo, I met this guy at the gym I think you'll be friends with. I go, oh, yeah? She, you know, sometimes she's right about that. Sometimes she's wrong, whatever. Well, women have a really good intuition. So she had an intuition for me because she knows, she knows how. Yeah, uh, she knows you better than anybody. She knows me better than anybody. Yeah, she knows what you, she knows, and, and it's very rare your girl would say something like that. Correct. Right? Yeah. Like, that's weird. My girl came and said, hey, I feel like you're going to be friends with that guy. <laughs> I'm like, she's right about everything, by the way. But I'm like, now I'm like. Okay, I need to go say hi. 31 years old, you need a new friend? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I was 28. I was 20, oh, yeah, 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 or right, 29 right. or whatever. Yeah. But you probably did need a new friend. And I did so, need a new friend. I always need a new friend. led the business. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, we always need more people around us, but, like, she probably knew you needed something. And women know, man. The, the, if you got a good girl, she, they are, their intuition is off the chart. So then you went up, said hi, you said, what's up? So listen. And you said two chips. Two chips. Two, yeah, two chips, two chips yeah, on your shoulder. The, make sure we don't miss the, other, the other chip is... Uh, that I looked up, I look up to my dad more than uh, anybody in this world. It's and great. and my dad grew up in a trailer, mm -hmm. uh, and made a life for himself, my mom and me and my sister. Um, so I got to live with one of my heroes my whole life, and uh, I would be disrespecting my dad and all the hard work he put in to give my family a good life, mm -hmm. and be a humble beast. Uh, if I didn't show up to work every day and bang the phones, I watch my dad own a company and cold call until he retired and he owned the company and the company did numbers I, cool I got to watch my dad cold call until he retired think about that 
that's the juice I need. Mm -hmm. So when I go into the office at 8 a.m., my my dad is a grinder. Yeah. So I operate with two chips on my shoulder. That's what that's what brings me to the promised land every day. That's what I try to give to my to the guys that work for us, right? The yeah. sales team. That's the juice I try to bring to them. That's what I got to do for Jake, the CEO, right? It's my obligation if Jake Jake I'm in charge of the sales team. Jake has put me in charge of the sales team. Mm -hmm. It's my job to run that with that intensity day in and day out. Okay, so a couple things. Number one, guys, obviously you can tell they're super humble, right? But also they're absolute killers. You guys are dogs. You work your ass off. Appreciate it. And you're, you're killers. Also, you understand money. You understand business. You understand risks. We talked about risk inversion. We talked about, you know, we're doing this big event. It's going to be July 11th. Yep. We talked about that. You talked about this warehouse you went and got. You talked about the company. You talked about your last 10000 You put it in. You talked about all these things. You guys aren't afraid. We were talking about this when the podcast wasn't on, so we'll say it, is that fear, right? You should run towards it. If something scares you, it means it's something you yeah. should do. Yeah, you absolutely. Jump the deep if end. it doesn't scare you, it means it's too little. Mm -hmm. Okay, but when it scares you, you're like, oh, shit, this could change my life. Yeah. And those are the things that excite people like us. That, that drug addict, right? That drug addict, that yeah. rush, that craziness, that whatever. When something scares you, you run into it. Most people run away from it. And so it hunts them down <clears throat> instead of yeah. them hunting it down. With that being said, and I just want to touch on this, and you're probably going to say the same thing, bro. I think so. But uh, that feeling when you can get, how big is our yeah. team? Nine guys around you that are on that same wavelength, and they're like, let's move forward, let's trudge, right? Let's go, we're in the trenches. That's that's where we found success. Mo yeah, mo yeah. Most people, I mean, you have a hundred person company, but everyone's on your level. Most people think they need to have so many people mm -hmm. to put so much money in their pockets. No way. It's the total fucking opposite. Totally agree. And what you said about the nine guys, we all have the same winner's mindset. Everyone's waking up five o'clock. The group chat's fucking banging. Everyone's going to the gym, <laughs> yeah, and everyone comes into work. Yeah. We have our morning meeting. But everyone's on the same wavelength, dude. There's not one person missing. We might have one guy who maybe doesn't go to the gym, but he's still putting up numbers. He's still doing what he has to do. I'm yeah. okay with that. If you're going to tell me you're not going to the gym, like you said before, it, it's all good. I respect yeah. it. Yeah. I love you. You're my brother. I appreciate you. I die for you. That's just what I am. Yeah. But everyone, and this goes for everyone out there, you just need to get a group of people that will take you to the promised land, and then you elevate those people, like you were saying before. Mm -hmm. All I need is to meet guys that are above me that are gonna help my guys earn too. Because mm. my guys come before me any day of the week. Mm -hmm. Fuck my pockets, it, it, theirs comes first. And if I can get other guys to put money in their pockets, then the money will come to my pockets. Yeah. But I need other people around me with a small army, and then we build it out and grow it in different sectors. Mm -hmm. That's how it works for me. Yeah, and why you guys are successful, I want you to hear this. He said, it's not about putting money in my pockets, it's about money, putting money in my guys' pockets. You know, so I used to ask people all the time, I'm like, what's more important to you, right? You know, making money, your customers, or your team? Ooh. Like, what's, and, and a lot of people. It's got to be customers, one, team second. No, well, someone no, said no, money. No. It's, well, some will say customers first, because you got to have customers, and then they'll say money, then they'll say team. Some will say, you know, money, right? You got to make money, then customers, then team. It's always the team first. 100%. And if you yeah. choose to put your team first, your, cheat, your team knows that they're put first. How do you think they're going to treat the customers? They're, they're going to treat amazing. them first. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. They're going to treat amazing. And how much money do you make? Yeah. More. more. Than you can yeah, more. That's one thing I've learned throughout my success but, journey. I know my guys. Yeah. And I know my guys have learned this too. The money comes, man. It really fucking does. Like, mm -hmm. out of nowhere, you look at your bank account and you're like, holy shit. With oh. the right people. With the right people, right. of course. You right. have to surround yourself with the right people. And, and, that, and I think so there's some lessons here. Okay, some, some of you right now, maybe you've seen something before and you're like, oh man, I want to be like that guy. He went and shook the hand. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918 210 0254. 918 210 0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Or maybe something was intriguing. He went and shook the hand. Dude, you got to initiate life. If you don't attack life and you don't play offense, you're not going to fucking No. Yeah. If you sit back and wait, yeah. if you sit back no and way. wait, yeah. ain't nobody handing you anything, brother. You better go make that shit happen yourself. Yeah, yeah, but, and by the way, listen, you guys, you obviously are understanding your intensity and you're learning how to operate in it and get deeper in business with higher intensity <laughs> levels, but also still take care of each other. It is a fucking art. 
It is. is true. Yeah, yeah it's, it, it, it is. It's You're painting canvas. all fucking day. <laughs> yeah. yeah it, it's Putting pieces art. together. Yeah, it's a puzzle. And you could also blow the whole company with anger. You could blow, That's why leadership's so important. That's why when you're growing in these companies, everybody has to become a leader at once. Yeah. The whole team's leaders. And I love that you guys have a smaller team because that smaller team can do more than 100 guys. We want to be so scary efficient. We want to be so scary efficient that we can win with everybody. Dude, we, we created this thing after we spoke to you, this Novak army, like the Elliott army. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we this copied shit, you. Yeah, I mean, no, well, I, fuck I, it, I, dude. I, it works. I, I literally saw one day, like, this thing about cults, and I was like, why aren't there any people talking about good cults? <laughs> I'm like, is a football yeah. team a cult? Yeah, 100%. Okay, I'm like, is, 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 you know, everything's a cult. It's just, why isn't there a good one? And I was like, okay, well, number one, so they're not my employees, they're my team. I'm like, fuck that, they're an army. We're gonna build an army. And then people in the beginning started making fun of it, like that's silly. But dude, we just took over, we were, we we're taking over the space yeah. by this deal, and it's a movement, it really is. Novak, whatever, whatever different sectors you guys take over, it, it it's just a company. You guys are the people yeah. in it. So the Novak Ar Army, operates in the company novak army is a movement yeah it is a movement it is a movement now of people who are exercising who are taking care of their family who are staying loyal how important is loyalty in your company it's the huge. most everything That's so it. truly it is a cult it is a, it, it is a mafia at all. it is a cartel it is anything it is all the same it is a freaking movement of people that are moving in one direction now the question is what are the beliefs and i'd be willing to bet if we wrote down all the beliefs that are in your company None of them are negative. All of them are, 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 are they're, they're amazing. But you guys are extremist. You guys yeah. are obsessed. Obsessed. Yeah. Okay. Like, like that obsession and that, per, and you guys are perfectionist also, which means every day you're trying to figure out how to make it better. Yeah. Companies don't operate this way, man. They we, don't. And that's why you guys are. What winning. we do so well too, everywhere we go, we make a statement. Like everywhere we go, mm -hmm. especially since we started putting out content, dude, like, us training in the gym together, people come up to us, we're wearing our gear. They're like, yo, who the fuck do these guys think they are? Yeah, and I love we that tell shit. them, we're like, yo, we're fucking big lenders, bro. <laughs> like, we're Novak Army. This is who the fuck we are. If you got a problem, step the fuck on out. <laughs> like, we come correct when we walk in a place. And even the other night, uh, last night, we went to dinner. People saw all their dogs ta dog tags and gear. They're like, yo, who are you guys? We showed Hammer up man's in there. <laughs> Shorts. Boom, we made a statement on that restaurant. And that's, we leave, I we leave that. little pieces of dirt, <laughs> of little bullets or whatever you want to call them, everywhere we go. And people remember us. Well, and that's but, who, what we you do. You guys are doing good things because listen, I'm going to tell you this, okay? There was a time in your life where no one was stopping you. And you guys are completely capable. If you can stop someone and they say, dude, what are you doing? You know, what, what, what do you, you think is going thing. on? Well, yeah. So there's a book, it's called mm -hmm. Lynchpin. Yeah, I'm reading it right about, now. It's yep, unbelievable. Talks about this new revolution of people who stand out, who are different, yep. right? Who don't color in the lines, right? Who don't follow instructions, who literally, you know, are yeah, have to become the lynchpin. They're artists. Yeah. They're they take their. It's a form of self. It's a form of like self branding. Yeah, it's it's like dude, the like the book's unbelievable. Don't be yeah, yeah right. like oh like 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 cut the fucking leash, mm -hmm. and let yourself go. And when people see, okay. Have you ever gone to like a party and there's a guy that's up dancing, right? And he's maybe dancing with his girlfriend and maybe he's not good at dancing. And then there's some guy sitting down and he's like making fun of that guy. Yeah. That guy sitting down's a loser. That guy sitting down's a fucking loser. Yeah, and his girl's correct. looking at the other guy going, I wish my, I guy, wish my guy was dancing with me. Yeah. yeah. People don't understand that. And when they see you guys operating, they don't have a brotherhood like you guys. They don't have a team like you guys. Everybody's looking for a place to belong. Everybody's looking for their tribe. Everybody's looking for their people. And that's why I tell you guys, like, you guys are doing it right. And I promise you, man, the same way you're doing it, we got laughed at all the time. I've been laughed at my whole fucking life. Okay? But I'm telling you, dude, I got my family in a place right now that no one, that I never thought I could have my family in. Good for because you, Because I live by those beliefs. And I'm just getting started. And I love what I do. And I literally do nothing but this thing that I do. Yeah. And if everybody would just find their people, us, right well, people that are like you and you just get really good at that and you're around people that'll hold you accountable and push you and and just create human excellence every day oh my god man yeah dude you guys are going to change the world dude tell them what we're coming to jersey to do about we're trying to get people to 
become this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, let's, I, let's talk about that. Yeah, let's yeah, talk about Jersey for a, a second. Deeper. We got an event. We're going to change people's lives. We're going to give them tons of value. Tell on them why we're how they can yeah. kill it. But let's talk about that. All right, we're going to Jersey because, for me, when I was you know 23 years old, just got sober, I didn't know one person in their 20s that was right or early 30s that was making. I'll just say having the kind of success we're having. Mm -hmm. We are going to Jersey. That's where Jake is from, and that is where our boy Jack is from. Mm -hmm. So they're making a statement by doing it where they're from, right? We're going to show kids and older people too. Yeah, anyone who shows up. Anyone, anyone who shows up that you can make it at any given time if you put this all together. That's why we asked you to come. That's why we're having you out because you're an inspiration for us. Mm -hmm. But we want to go show people, yo, it's possible. You don't have You don't have to listen to anybody. You can make your own way. We made our own way. Here's how we did it. Mm -hmm. This is the guy we look up to. You. Yeah, and then you guys lay out your blueprint in your bingo. Yeah. Can people join your team? We're we're. Good point. I was just asking. Here, yes. I mean, I thing. get asked it nine million so times. So I'm a gonna day. I'm gonna tell you a good little story, and this is something that I think is gonna be very exciting. So I call the guys. We call the group chat one to five. It's the top guys in the company. We love the rest of them. It's not against anyone. Yeah. Um, and I said, guys, I want to open up another broker shop in New Jersey. Broker shop meaning not direct lending the money versus guys on the a phone. A sales team, a sales organization. So I said, yeah. I don't want to take majority of the ownership. I want all of us to have equal ownership. We all run it together. If it goes down, we all go down together. There's not, no one gets. That's how we line. roll. That's how we roll. Everyone's yeah. got 20% equity, whatever. Yeah. So we're opening a new office in New Jersey. It's going to be called the Eclipse Capital Group. Mm -hmm. And we already have like 30 guys in there. We've been posting about it. And people are just on their toes, ready to come. I love and that. they're all going to be coming to the event. You're going to wake them up. We're going to do a one-on-one -on -one little call with mm -hmm. them. And we're just going to fucking go at it. And so, so basically, anybody that's been watching to this point, right, they can obviously text the number below. Yep. Yeah. They can they DM. Can, they can DM they Jake. Can DM they can yeah. DM can Jake DM or I and ask about the hiring process because yes. we are open mm -hmm. and we are hiring cats for the New Jersey they, office. They come down to the event. They they meet you guys that way. Yep. Eyes can lock. People yep. can shake hands. Yep. We can see face to face. Um, then there'll be an opportunity, which is like the rest of your team, the earning opportunities yeah. they have yeah. to make the same kind of money, to have the same kind of success, yeah. and to be in close proximity of you, yep. of you guys. Correct. That's incredible. Yeah. I didn't even know that before we had this. I want to bring up, this is something that's so powerful to me, and this is what I've lived by forever. If you can make money in sales, you're meant to become wealthy. That's, that's, that's my opinion. That's mm -hmm. what I feel in my gut. And I honestly believe it 110%. Me too. How about you, Andy? Yeah, sales and leadership. Sales will make and rich. leadership. I forgot leadership. Good yeah, point. Yeah, but that, that's it. Sales and leadership make you rich. People do not. And that's a skill you can learn. It's a skill you can you learn. You don't have to be born with it. You may be better at yeah. some of these people when you were younger. All day. Because that, that was like your deal. But I've seen plenty of people that were introverts. So have I. Who stuttered. So have I. Stuttered, I. Yeah. introvert. And look where I made it. I mean, so like anyone people, can learn this. They don't realize that if they just put in a good six to 12 months at a good sales position that they're very happy at, they can really change your life. They also have I mean, to work people, and train. They have to train. work, they have to train, they have to live by it, they have to eat, sleep, and live that shit. There's no way around it. You can't do sales half ass. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't work. You gotta be a competitor. And for guys that are on that 5K a month right now at their sales job plus, you know, salary, and then, you know, maybe they have a good month, 10K, fuck all that shit. Leave it behind, bro. We're sale, we're commission only. There's, okay. there's no salary let me, for me. Let me say this real quick. Uh, I want you to listen to what he said. How many of you right now have been waiting for your way out? How many of you right now, I mean, I call it like FOMO, but like you guys are talking and I'm like, I'm in my 20s and I'm like, man, why the fuck are I making that kind of money? Why don't I have buddies like this? Why can't I roll like that? You guys can. And I want you to hear what he said. He said, leave it behind. In order to get a new life, you have to give up your old one. That's it. Okay, and if you're willing to face fears, if you're willing to take risks, if you believe that you're capable of a bigger life, just like you guys did, these guys literally can join y'all's company. Yeah, I, go ahead. I was just gonna say, I wanna touch on that just a little bit on the like nine to five compared to a commission only sales job. I get on a bunch of interviews with guys that are worried, right? In the world of business, Andy knows this, he runs a hundred person company as a conglomerate, right? It's a big, it's big, man. Jake runs his company, right? There, There is nothing in business that people say, oh, okay, here's your paycheck. Business means you go get it, you go earn it. That's what a commission is. That's the real deal. You don't have to own the company to be a commission-only sales guy. You wanna be, a, you wanna do business? Go earn it. That That's yeah. the truth, that's the real deal. Patrick Bet David said this, the, your friend's Patrick Bet David, yeah? Oh, yeah, he's my boy. Yeah, he month. said this the other day. Oh, yeah, he's my boy. He said this the other day, he goes, 
I was in a better spot in my career when I was two through six. Oh, yeah, you, you love this. Post? Mm -hmm. And I'm number one, but I love it. <laughs> you know, I, I love taking on the fear. I love taking on the risk. Well, I love making the mistakes. I think people undervalue entrepreneurship. Yeah. Like, like an entrepreneur. This hit when you explain this to us. Yeah, so an entrepreneur takes the risk. They get sued. They spend all the money, the upfront costs. That's Jake. They do that. Welcome um, to the club. <laughs> fucking crazy. You're, you're up till 2 a.m. every night doing payroll, bills, everything. You don't sleep. You're just like, it's like, it's like a, and it's like a, it's sometimes nightmare land. <laughs> Right. But, you know, you need to do it because and by the way, that's why it's so important that he has you guys, because at the end of the day, how do you um, so guys make sure you text the number below. I can't wait to meet you guys. I've just introduced you to guys. Some, some of my good friends. And real quick, if they want to reach out to him on Instagram. All right. K.E.N. underscore D.O.E. 23. Okay, you can DM yeah. them if you want a shot to work for them. If you're like, hey, give me some information on tickets. But you can text the number as well. But I want you to be able to connect yeah. with. And then Mine Jake. is Jake D'Amelio, D-A-M-E-L-I-O with two O's. So Jake D'Amelio <laughs> with two O's. And yeah. uh, I just want to give a shout out, Andy. Thank you for having us Andy, on here, thank man. you, bro. We appreciate yeah. it. It's amazing. Remember, July 11th, we're bringing the heat to Jersey. I am not fucking around. I will wake every single person up in that fucking state if I have to. Yeah. That, I'm coming crazy. People well, are going to they're, they're gonna be crying after the event in a good way. Yeah, well, see, I don't think anybody thinks we're messing around. Yeah. The question is, are they action takers? Yeah. Because all this shit you learn, if you don't, if you don't take action, it doesn't matter. A guy that has a million ideas in his head that won't execute Ain't is worth, worth nothing. Shit. Nope. One guy with one idea who will execute is more dangerous than anybody. Yeah. Um, but I respect you guys. I respect your whole team. I met a whole group of them that you guys have here with you. Yeah. They're all just as crazy as you. Yeah. And at the end of the <laughs> in a day, good way. Yeah, in a good way. Yeah. I mean, any successful person, if you crack them open, they're crazy. Yep. So when I say crazy. Um, if crazy is good, I mean, that would be like me saying, yeah, you guys are quiet and asleep and dead. <laughs> like that would just be weird. So I say, you guys are crazy. What does that mean? That means you're different than, than others. And if you want to have a different life, you have to be different than others. Yeah. If you show up, you have a chance to meet us. You have a chance to learn from Andy, yeah. but also we're hiring. So if this is some, you feel that punch, you got some value from this, you know, this podcast, you're going to have opportunity to meet us and yeah. we're hiring. Yeah, so you win, never win. know what the future holds. Nope. Exactly. I, I always, I always tell people this. Like people are always like, yeah, well, I'm doing this now. Maybe I'll do it in the future. Listen, dude, when someone opens a window for you, you take it. Okay. You get in there. I may come in. I'm just going to tell you hypothetically, if I was in this industry, I'm doing this now. I'm like, well, I'm not ever thinking about working anywhere else. I love what I'm doing. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow. The thing about life is that life will hit you in the face and you yeah. never know what's going to happen. And we all know that too well. So to go to this event and learn, go home a new man, totally recreated or a new woman, literally, you make these friends and these connections that you go home and then in you know six months from now, something happens and you're like, oh my God, dude, I'm gonna call Jake. And your life changes. It doesn't have to be now, but we know you need to change and we know you wanna reach for more and we know you need to be around the right people in life. Yeah. So this is your chance. One thing you said that stuck out to me so well at the last event that you hosted it was something about books mm -hmm. and how books are so cheap on Amazon. Yeah. And I'm paying 15 bucks for a book to learn a lifetime experience yeah. about someone. 20 years of That's skill. That's the same exact thing when someone comes to see you. Yeah. You're paying $497 to come and see Andy Elliott, me and my guys who have built yeah, something special. Yeah, and what you special. guys are doing now and how Eric you're doing it. Eric Spoford, he built a nine-figure business and sold it. Mm -hmm. For 500 bucks, you're paying... He has a lifetime of struggles, and look where he's at now. Yeah, it's the same thing when it comes to a book on Amazon. I bought Lynchpin for fucking eight bucks on Amazon. Yeah, dude, I've learned so much off the book. <laughs> it's, I've, already, I've only read fucking forty pages they, of it. They they should have a, a scan code at the end of the book that said, "Hey, don't be a cheap ass." Okay, yeah, like, you bought the book. Give me a tip. Yeah, yeah, give me a tip. Hey, but you bought the book. Now pay me what you think that you dude, was yeah. worth. Honestly, I would have sent him a hundred grand. I mean, dude, <laughs> I'm not even playing. But, dude, they didn't ask, and closed mouths don't get fed. So, Lynchpin, you should have asked me to pay yeah. you. Fuck. Yeah, so anyways, all right, love Andy, you guys. Andy, thank you, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next podcast, and you better be there July 11th. Nice job. Let's go. Good job. Nice job. Hey, guys, I just want to tell you, the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor. Share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video. Comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.